The day before the appointment, dry try lumineers on a stone model to ensure proper fit. Remember to always remove Ultrabond Plus from the refrigerator about one hour prior to use to allow it time to return to room temperature. If Tenure A and Tenure B are also refrigerated, bring them to room temperature as well and shake vigorously before use. It is imperative that you use magnification, such as the perioptics line of magnification, to be able to work more effectively and precisely. With perioptics, your own prescription can also be placed in the eyeglass lenses if needed. After the patient is seated, treat the lumineers with porcelain conditioner for 30 seconds. Rinse and dry well. Apply Serenit Prime to the lumineers for 30 seconds and blow thin. Place the lumineers back in the case box in their proper slots and close the lid or cover from light. Once Serenit Prime is applied to the lumineers, they need to be shielded from the light until the lumineers are seated. Apply the mixture of Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste and Serenit Shade Modifier or Opaquer into each of the lumineers. Gently place the lumineers one at a time and use a brush to clean up the excess Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste. We recommend Denmat's LumiGrip to prevent dropping the lumineers during placement. To make shade and opacity modifications, we recommend Denmat's Custom Shade Modification System 2, which contains four opaquers and 12 modifiers. Hold a mirror approximately 16 inches away from the patient's face and let the patient examine his or her smile. If the shade is not what you or the patient wants, remove the Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste from the lumineers and tooth surfaces with a Scubes sponge or a clean, dry brush. Reapply a new shade of Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste and check the shade again. Note, only use Tenure S to clean up the excess once the final Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste has been selected, as any residual Ultrabond Plus Try-In Paste will be polymerized by Tenure S. Remove the lumineers after try-in by using a Sure 349 instrument or cotton pliers and gently tease the lumineers off the tooth surfaces. After cleaning residual Ultrabond Plus try-in paste from the lumineers with Tenure S, gently thin the Tenure S with air. A thin film will be left on both the tooth and porcelain surfaces. Place the lumineers back in the case box with facial surface facing up in their proper slots. Close the lid or cover from light. Note, there is no need to reapply porcelain conditioner or serenit prime if you are cementing directly after try-in. Clean the teeth with a slurry of pumice and water or porcelain laminate polishing paste and floss. Paint on dental dam is helpful and recommended for lumineers placement. Before bonding, syringe paint on dental dam on the lingual side of the inner proximals, covering the patient's gums and teeth thoroughly. Light cure for five seconds with the Sapphire Plasma Arc Curing Light. This will make your cleanup faster and easier. Next, etch the teeth for 20 seconds with Etch and Seal. Then rinse and dry. Mix together equal amounts of Tenure A and Tenure B in a Dappen dish. Apply five coats of the Tenure A and B mixture to each tooth, or until the surface is glossy, and three sweeps with a saliva injector. Let sit for 10 to 15 seconds, then gently air dry. Apply one coat of Tenure S to the teeth. Note, prior to placing the auto mixer tip on the Ultrabond Plus syringe, always extrude a quarter inch line of material to ensure adequate mixing. We suggest that the clinician dispense a small amount of Ultrabond Plus onto a mixing pad a minute or two before beginning placement and monitor it for working time to provide warning in the event that the placement takes longer than anticipated. If the patient has dark stains, such as tetracycline stains, again, we recommend Denmat's Custom Shade Modification System 2. Select the appropriate shade of Ultrabond Plus Resin Cement and apply to the prepared lumineers and put in place. Again, we recommend using the LumiGrip and holding it over the patient's bib to avoid dropping the lumineers. After placing the lumineers, remove the excess Ultrabond Plus with a soft brush coated with Tenure S. Tack the lumineers in place for two seconds using the sapphire pack light fitted with a Seri Taper 2mm tacking tip. Do not touch or press on the lumineers while curing. 
Continue to remove the excess cement with a soft brush coated with Tenier S. Using a 9mm tip with a sapphire pack light, completely cure all the lumineers, exposing each surface for 5 seconds. Remove the paint on dental dam if placed. At the placement appointment, only minimal finishing is suggested to finish the DEJ and to remove any excess resin cement. Do not open the embrasures yet, as maximum bonding does not occur for 24 hours. Final finishing should be performed at the next visit. We recommend using the Lumineers Finishing Kit, which includes all the components needed for the finishing process. Use a Sure 349 instrument to remove the cured cement along the margins, as well as from the interproximal area along both the facial and the lingual. You may also use the 12 fluted carbide burr. This burr is an excellent tool for cleaning up residual resin cement and for finishing composites. Using a mosquito interproximal diamond, remove any existing porcelain ledge and refine the margins along the interproximal area if necessary. Continue using the Mosquito Interproximal Diamond to further polish the margins if needed. Check the bite with articulating paper. Use the football diamond on the lingual to finish the incisal wrap and adjust high spots or length. Trim or polish the margins of the porcelain veneer if necessary and use an extra fine smoothing diamond to smooth out the porcelain. Explore the tooth structure next to the lumineers to check the margins there should not be a catch or bump. To assemble the seri saw or seri sander, simply add a strip by loosening the handle grip and turning counterclockwise. Drop the seri saw or seri sander strip onto the pin located at the front end of the handle, then back around the pin to the rear end of the handle. The strip forms an S shape around the front and back handles. Turn the handle grip clockwise to tighten the hand grip which also tightens the pins and seri saw or seri sander strips. Use the seri saw to separate the teeth using a rocking motion. Use the fine grit seri sander to smooth the interproximal surfaces. Use the ultra fine grit seri sander to further smooth the interproximal surfaces. It is important that you use each sanding blade only two or three times per tooth to smooth the contacts. Check the interproximal surfaces for smoothness using dental floss. Continue with the porcelain laminate polishing paste using the polishing cup. Use the side of the cup and have the assistant follow the doctor with a high-speed evacuation tip-on.